Hi everyone, our subject today is vaginal discharge in prepubertal girls. Basics. Normal physiologic vaginal discharge includes secretion or fluid produced by glands in the vaginal wall and cervix. Vaginal discharge in the prepubertal age can be normal. However, any persistent and symptomatic vaginal discharge in this age group should be considered abnormal. History. Timing and duration of discharge, associated pain, itching or burning, associated symptom, abdominal pain, fever, bleeding, lesion or urinary changes, allergies or eczema, hygiene history, type of diapers and how often the patient is changed, use of bubble bath or strong soaps, use of strong detergent, whipping from back to front after a bowel movement, tight clothing around the genital area or nylon panty. Recent or concomitant illness, SPIG, Shigella flexibility infection, systemic illness like varicella, pinworms, immune compromise, concern for possible sexual abuse. Physical exam, evaluate the entire genital and anal area while the child is at rest and calm. Positioning option for the examiner, lie the patient on her back in the supine frog leg position with knee bent and sole feet touching. Lie face down in the prone knee chest position while sitting in the parent's lap with the legs hanging over the parent's leg. The parent's leg may be spread to spread the patient's leg. Presence of bruises, laceration or abrasion suggest trauma or sexual abuse. Excoriation around the anus, vagina suggest itching caused by pinworms. Rash that spared skin fault suggest irritant cause. Rash mainly within the skin fault suggest candidiasis. Look for foreign body within the vaginal vault. Evaluate the vaginal discharge. Candidiasis, thick and white, with a cottage cheese-like discharge. Trichomoniasis, grayish, greenish yellow with the perulent discharge. Gardenella is thin and fish-smelling with a gray discharge. How to approach to a prepubertal girl with the vaginal discharge after performing history and physical examination? It is a clear mucoid discharge. If it is yes, this is physiologic leukocoria. If it is not, is there possible uh, sexual abuse? If it is yes, please see the previous uh, lecture. If it is no, patient need KOH preparation, bacterial culture, exam under anesthesia if there is suspicion of foreign body with or without pinworm test. Differential diagnosis, non-specific vulvovaginitis, infectious vulvovaginitis, candida vulvovaginitis, foreign body, pinworm, tumor, ectobacuritar, and malarian anomalies. Physiologic leukocoria. Physiologic leukocoria is a whitish mucoid discharge that occurs in newborns and adolescents. Hygiene. In the prepubertal girls, the vulvar mucosa is thin and more susceptible to irritation and inflammation. Poor hygiene, use of irritant soap, bubble bath, and non-breathing underwear may be associated with a non-specific or irritant vulvovaginitis. Infectious vulvovaginitis may be due to fecal or respiratory pathogen, including E. coli, group A streptococcus, Staphylococcus aureus, H. influenzae, Shigella, and Yersinia enterocolitica. A bloody vaginal discharge may be seen with the Shigella or group A streptococcal infection. If there is possible sexual abuse, vaginal secretion must be cultured to exclude an STD. Sexual abuse. Child abuse refers to the use of children in the sexual activity, including fondling, masturbation, penetration, that they do not understand or give consent to it. The interview of the child suspected of being sexually abused is the most valuable component of a medical evaluation using the child's word for the body parts, a drawing and age-appropriate question 
clinician should not contact the interview unless uh, they have a skill and experience. Be aware that most perpetrators of the child abuse are family members, close relatives of friends who typically begin relating to the child during non-sexual activity to gain the child's trust. Children suffering from child abuse may present with symptoms not related directly to their genitalia. Example, sleep disturbance, behavioral changes, phobias, and uh, anorexia, poor school performance, and social withdrawal. Later on, victims often present with post-traumatic stress disorder. Candidal vulvovaginitis in a prepubertal girls is uncommon but may occur after use of oral antibiotic. Foreign body often related, uh, retained toilet tissue in the vagina cause a foul smelling brown or bloody discharge. If the foreign body cannot be visualized, examine using anesthesia may be needed. Pinworms, anal pruritus may indicate pinworms and can be diagnosed using tape test. Pinworms are more common in younger children. Tumors, neoplasm are rare causes of discharge. Example include rhabdomyosarcoma as well as adenosis and adenocarcinoma in girls whose mother were exposed to diethylstilbestirol during pregnancy. In girls, an ectopic ureter may draining into the vagina, about 25%, and rarely into the cervix or uterus. Malarian anomaly may also present with a vaginal discharge, for example, in patients with a transverse vaginal septum with a small opening. Thank you for your listening.